Good afternoon, Colonial Nation. Welcome to the start of the 2021-22 school year. As you may or may not already know, we had received information this afternoon from the Department of Health, Governor Wolf, and the Secretary of Education, Noe Ortega. There has been a universal masking mandate that will take effect starting Tuesday, September 7th, 2021, after Labor Day. What does this mean for Albert Area School District? It means that all staff, students, and visitors to any of our facilities will have to wear a mask covering their nose and face while inside our schools. We were already mandated to wear masks on public transportation, and with that being said, Dr. Jason Hutchinson has a few reminders in regards to our district transportation. Thanks, Mr. Pegg. As Mr. Pegg mentioned, the masks are required on all transportation, so the buses, uh, students will be uh, required to wear a mask. Your child should have a mask on at the bus stop. Be prepared to wear the mask uh, during the ride to school. Uh, if your child does not or happens to forget their mask, uh, the bus drivers will supply them with a mask. Just a reminder, with school starting tomorrow, with all our students, please have your child out in front of the bus stop uh, about 10 minutes early. Uh, the bus routes continue to change with updates daily, uh, so I will remind the parents to be patient. And if you have any questions, please call 724-564-7190, extension 8121. I'll turn it over to Mrs. Bezak at this time. Relative to our cyber program, also known as COLA, the deadline for COLA, as you all may have known, is passed, and as per our agreement with Seneca Valley, we are required to submit a final roster. However, due to the influx of numbers, Dr. Hutchison and myself were able to meet with our provider and make arrangements for the, re for the registration to be reopened. So the district has decided and uh, um, to extend the registration until Friday, this coming Friday, September the 3rd. Please understand that your registration link will be available beginning this evening, but again, I want to remind everyone that it will close Friday at noon promptly. As we continue to keep registration open, it delays our ability to schedule classes for our current students. Due to the portal being reopened, we do have to have some consideration for the need for more teachers and the need to upload more courses. So again, we need your cooperation and understanding that no exceptions can be taken after noon this Friday, the, the 3rd. Um, with that being said, parents who have already registered their students do not need to do anything. They are already on our current roster. This would be only for students that are considering or that would like to change to COLA now. The start date for classes thus will be pushed back to September 13th. However, the program is self-paced. We do want to remind students that as you enroll in COLA, the changes to and from in person to COLA will happen at the end of the nine week period. Again, the deadline for the COLA registration has been reopened and the deadline for registration will be Friday, September the 13th. Please continue September to check, the third. I'm sorry, September the 3rd. The courses will begin September 13th. And please continue to check your email for links to the sites and as well as your username and passwords for students who have enrolled. Mr. Pegg? Okay, uh, once again, um, the deadline for the COLA registration <coughs> has to be, with no exceptions, this Friday, September 3rd, by 12 o'clock noon. There are a lot of things that we have to take care of with our partner Seneca Valley for the COLA uh, students in our COLA program. So exceptions cannot be made after noon on this Friday, September 3rd. Also parents, uh, please understand that if you have questions pertaining to anything um, that we had talked about, uh, our district, uh, mainly the three of us, do not follow social media. So uh, immediately following the posting of this video, there will be a link for you to, uh, for parents and guardians to ask questions that we um, can get an answer back to you as soon as possible. So once again, we don't follow social media and um, please use the link that will be attached after this video for any questions that you may have for us. Uh, the link to the COLA program will also be on the district webpage. 
Uh, thank you, and uh, we wish you uh, success for the start of the 21-22 school year uh, and throughout the school year as well. Thank you, and have a great day.